In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use keys on the XPS G1. A key is how you create a composite for your video. So it's a way of adding layers of graphics or picture in picture or other videos on top of your main video. On the G1, we have eight fully featured keys on each ME bus and they include resizes that are capable of rotation, which is really cool. So for this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use keys and I've created a weather forecast setup here. So first of all, I'm going to put a name strap on key one. So to do that, I come to my key delegation bus here. I select key one and then you can see uh, the sources down here. So I'm going to select FM7, which is frame memory seven, because that's where my name strap is. If I hold down the key, you can also see what the sources are paired with, which is really useful. So for example, you can see here that my frame memory seven is paired with frame memory eight. You can see that my input one here is paired with white, etc. So that's a really nice feature. Now I can come to my key here and just double punch and I'm into the menu. So you can see here, we've got the, the fill and the source. Uh, set to frame memory 7, frame memory 8, and I'm, I should actually turn that on so you can see. Um, so it's Sue Carter is our name strap up there. I have this set to auto select, which is just selecting the video key pair that's in the setup automatically for me. Um, but if you want, you can also select it to split and then you can just by hitting that, you can manually put in whatever you want. Or you can go to self, which will just pair it with itself. But for this, we just want to have it on auto select because that's correct. You can also see that we have different types of keys here. So we can set it as a luminance key. We can set it as a linear key or we can set it as a chroma key, which I'm going to come to in a little bit. But we want to have this as a linear key. And that knows it all look fine to me. I'm going to do a few adjustments. Um, so here we can put a border on. At the moment you can't see anything because the width is set to zero. But if I push it up, then you can see a black border is appearing. Another thing I wanted to mention is that with these direct key transition buttons here, um, we can set this to, to however we like. So with this one, you see at the moment it's wiping on. That's because on the on transition, I've got it selected to a wipe. And then you can see my off transition is selected to a mix. So when I turn that off, it just mixes off. But I could choose that um, however I like. I mean, I could, for example, just have that cut on and there we go. And then it would mix off. Now I'm going to put a resizer on the name strap because it's looking a little bit too big for me. So I'm going to come down into the menu to process key. And I'm going to hit resizer. And then I can change the parameters here. Or I can use the trackball here and just adjust that size, something a little bit smaller, maybe something like that. And then I can bring the position down to something like that. And now I'm going to add a clock that I've got set on my key free. So I'm just going to bring that in. That's looking a little bit odd. So I'm going to double punch key three and see why that might be. And I can see that it's paired with, it with itself and I just want to put it on auto select. So that's sorted that out. Now I'm going to bring in the weather presenter, which we have as a clip. So there she is on my key four. And as you can see, I'm going to need to set up a chroma key for her. So a chroma key is a way of taking any color. It's normally green um, so that we can key out that color and then have it transparent behind her and we can put any background we like. So in this case, I'm going to put the weather map. So I need to double punch my key for bringing this up. I go to key type. It's on chroma already. So now I just need to set this up. So I go to Chroma adjust, sample mark. And then what I like to do is get this sample mark as big as possible. So as big an area as possible. And we just want to put it on the green. So 
I'm going to move it along here. Now you can see it's filled with all green. So now I'm telling it to take that color and key it out. And I hit auto start and you can see that's immediately gone. That was quite easy in, because I didn't have to worry about any shadows or anything. Um, but if you do have shadows, then you can hit color cancel and make some adjustments there. I'm going to make maybe make slight adjustment to the key position just to get the edge in um, right. So you can see that I've put too, I've done that too much. So it's going a little purple. Let me bring that down. So using this key position is just how you make some fine tweaking. So that's looking pretty good. Um, if I, because this is a clip, I'm going to move her along and just check how she plays. I want to do this slowly. So I'm using my device here. I have it set to my frame memory for here to play this out. I'm going to hit jog and I'm just going to use this trackball to jog her along because she refers to the weather and she stretches her hand out. But you can see she's going off the map there. So what I'm going to do is click resizer, put a resizer on that key, and I'm just going to move her position just so she's coming across here. And now it's looking much better. So another thing you might have noticed is that our name strap is actually appearing behind her. So key four is appearing above key one. To fix that, I just need to come to my current key priority here. And you can see what order it's in by what's highlighted. So we can see here that key five is on priority one, so that's on top. And then we come down to key four on priority two and so forth. And it's completely flexible. So what we need to do, this is name strap is on key one, so we just need to put key one into priority one. And now that name strap is appearing in front of our weather presenter. So that's us all set up. Let's just see how that looks when we play it out. So I'm going to take the strap off and I'm going to start playing my clip. And then you can see I can bring in the strap, name her, and then take that off. So that's the basics of keys on the XPS G1.